If you're a print-on-demand seller who saw a big dip in your sales during Q1 towards the beginning of the year, or you're a new seller who didn't really get any traction towards the first few months of this year, Q2 is your time to get really excited because this is typically where sales are going to start ramping up for a lot of sellers who may have experienced a little bit of a dip or decline in their sales towards the beginning of the year. There are so many amazing niches for Q2. In fact, I actually created an entire video outlining some great niches for Q2, but in today's video, I'm gonna show you exactly how to take one of those great niches and turn it into a best-selling design that looks great and is going to do really well on a platform like Amazon or Etsy. I'll be designing for three of the top niches for Q2, so if you wanna find out what those are and how to create a best-selling design to go along with them, make sure you keep watching. I'm Hannah, and on this channel, I share about all things print on demand and making passive income. So if that's something you're interested in, I would love it if you'd subscribe down below for new videos every single week. Now let's jump into all of those niches and designs you came here for. Today I'm going to be using Kittle as my design suite to create all of these designs. If you're not familiar with Kittle, they are an all-in-one design platform that has everything from templates to AI generated images to lots of assets that you can use and just a complete design suite that you can make all of your print on demand shirts, totes, you name it, you can make it with Kittle. And they are kindly sponsoring today's video. So if you do want to create an account with them, make sure you click the link in the description below. So let's see what we can find to work with for the first niche. Now, the first shirt that I want to design is something in that cabin cottage niche that I said is super popular already this spring. So let's look, take a look at their templates and see what we can find to work from. As you can see, there are so many different templates that you can use. If you do have an account on Kittle, you are able to use any of their templates. And as long as you make some changes to them, you can use them commercially for whatever purposes you would like. But I love that with Kittle, it just takes a few minutes to find a template, change it a little bit for my own purposes and niche, and then I have a great design that looks super professional, but it only took me a few minutes. All right, so I am going to go ahead and search the word cabin and see what we can come up with. Now, already there are a few designs that I really like that we could definitely work with. I'm gravitating towards this one, but I also really like the lettering and the cabin on this design. So I think I actually might use this one to go ahead and get started with. So I'm just going to click on it and then push use this design. All right, so one thing on Kittle, if you like a design, but it's definitely the wrong size, especially if you're making something for like a t-shirt, you can just go ahead and select the design you wanna use and then you're gonna go over to settings and just change the size. So I'm gonna go ahead and change it to 4,500 by 5,400. That is the standard size for Merch by Amazon and just one that I really like designing in for t-shirts. And then I'm gonna go ahead and adjust this size so that we get it fully fitting the entire thing here. Now we can start thinking about making some changes to this design. So on Kittle, you're gonna wanna change a few things to be able to actually use their item. You don't wanna post it exactly how it is, not only because it's part of their policy, but also if you post it just how it is, guaranteed someone else has already uploaded this exact design. So it's in your best interest to make some changes to this. And we're doing this cabin niche, so we wanna add something a little bit cabiny that is going to fit with that niche. So I am actually thinking about using the phrase, cabin life is the best life. So let's change this lettering and see how that looks. All right, and then because this is kind of more of a cabin niche, I'm actually gonna get rid of some of this coffee roastery stuff that they have in here and see if we can find something better. And I really do like this Yellowstone, Oregon thing that it has down at the bottom. So you could actually go ahead and leave that and you can make this kind of a scalable design where you put a bunch of different locations or cities or parks, places that a lot of people go with their cabin, but for the sake of this design, I want it to be simple, just a cabin design that anyone could wear. So I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of that as well. Now I'm just gonna adjust some of this text to make it a little bit bigger, easier to read on a shirt. Now I'm gonna look for something right here that I can kind of fill in that space that we're missing. Now let's see, I do really like this sunburst that they have here. I'm gonna change the color of this. And then I wanna add a moon in here as well. I'm going to move these backward 
All right, so once you are satisfied with that, what you're gonna do is go ahead and go over to the downloads. And then I like to make sure I remove the background if I am designing for a t-shirt. And then I can optimize the quality just for a good download. And I'm gonna go ahead and download that as a PNG. The next niche that I talked about being really popular already this spring and summer and only going to continue to do better is going to be that gardening and hobby farming niche. So, so many people are gardening all the time. This isn't really a trend that has taken off in the last few months, but we've seen a lot more people dipping their toes into hobby farming, maybe owning chickens or some goats in their backyard, having a small plot of land and doing a vegetable garden. So there are a lot more people that are really into being farmers, having a hobby farm. So this is something that I wanted to target. Maybe it's someone who's raising chickens or cows or something like that. So we're gonna go ahead and look up maybe gardening or farming and see what we can find. There are so many great designs for this gardening niche. I love some of these for if you're doing posters or something like that or cards, even t-shirts. A lot of these really retro type of designs look super great. But the one that is actually catching my eye for maybe more of a chicken farmer design or someone who has some chickens in their backyard is going to be this one. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on that and push use that design so we can get started. Next one, we are going to be making a design for that hobby farming niche. I was thinking about someone who maybe has chickens in their backyard that they're raising. So I wanted to do something a little bit fun and funny with this design, which I really like, but it's gonna be the wrong size. So the first thing we're gonna do is change this size to more of a t-shirt design. So I'm gonna do 4500 by 5400 and then I'm going to go ahead and adjust this design to make it take up the entire thing. I'm just going to go ahead and delete the background too. Okay and I'm going to go ahead and delete this texture here and I'm going to take a look at the layers and then I'm going to make so the background it we are going to delete that too. So on a t-shirt you're going to want it to have no background. It that texture, it really just doesn't show up well on a t-shirt. So I just like to get rid of it completely. Now I was thinking for this design, something funny I could say is maybe introverted but willing to discuss chickens. So that's kind of a popular phrase I've seen selling on some other types of designs for people's hobbies, but I think it could do really well with this hobby farming niche. So I'm going to go ahead and move some of this text and I'm going to change this right here to say introverted. All right, so I am just adjusting the size of this lettering a little bit, and I think I am going to resize the whole thing just to take up more of the actual shirt over here. That is looking really good. And a lot of times I like to adjust the coloring a little bit, but I'm actually really liking this red, but you know what, I'm just gonna try it with more of a green color and see how that could look too. So that looks good, but you know what? I'm actually going to go ahead and bring it back to the red. I think that looks really nice for that farm style. Now let's go ahead and download this. So we are going to go ahead to the downloads and then we're gonna remove the background here and optimize the quality. And I'm gonna download this as a PNG. All right, so one of the biggest holidays in June is going to be Father's Day. So I wanted to create a really great Father's Day design that is going to become a bestseller. But one of the keys of doing a big holiday like Father's Day or Mother's Day is you have to niche down. So instead of just creating a generic Father's Day design, I wanted to create a Father's Day design in a sub niche of that, which could be something like adoptive dads or foster dads. So I'm gonna look for something that could work with that and we're gonna make a great design for foster dads. So I'm gonna look up Father's Day and see what we can come up with here on Kittle for a great template to work with. All right, there are so many awesome designs here that could work really, really well for Father's Day. But there's one that is sticking out to me right now because I actually have a phrase in mind that I was thinking about using that this would be perfect for. So it is for teachers. It says teaching is my superpower, but we're going to change it up a little bit to be for a foster dad. 
As a print on demand seller, you know that you don't always get to design for niches that you really care about. Sometimes you're just making things that you know other people will like, but foster care is one of those that is important to me. Me and my husband are foster parents, so I always love when I can make designs for these. And they do sell really well because lots of foster moms and foster dads are looking for shirts and apparel to show about what they do. So I love making these types of designs. All right, since this design is already really optimized for a t-shirt, we're not gonna have to adjust the size at all on this one. Unless there was a very specific pixel dimensions that you were looking for, then you could totally do that. But I think for this one, I'm gonna go ahead and go with that superhero type of theme for a foster dad and say something like, I'm a foster dad, what's your superpower? So let's start adding some text and just adjust what we have here to make it work a little bit better. All right, so I'm gonna make this first part say I'm a, Right. I really like how they kind of went with that comic book style. All right. So I already went and adjusted. I said, I'm a foster dad. And then I think I am going to do the same thing and say, what's your, and then superpower in that yellow text. Okay, now I am just going to move this text a little bit until I feel like it looks good. Now I like to sometimes change the colors a little bit. So it's just something different. I'm going to try a little bit of a red color instead of this blue here, just to stand out in case someone has already used this design. But you totally could do this, make a bunch of different versions with different colors. But this is looking really good. And I'm gonna change the background just because I don't like to really sell these types of tan shirts, especially on Amazon. I'm gonna go for more of a white and I just wanna see what that's going to look like and make sure there's enough contrast. All right, so that is looking really good. I'm gonna go ahead and download that. And I think this is gonna be a great Father's Day design. I'm gonna change it to pixels here. Now I'm gonna go ahead and remove that background and optimize the quality and download it as a PNG. Seriously, that took me just a few minutes to take one of the really great templates that Kittle already had and just transform it into a great design that I could use in some of those popular niches for Q2. So easy, I can't recommend it enough. If you've watched any of my other videos, you know that I absolutely really do love Kittle and I use them all of the time. I just love that I can take a concept and then find a template that's gonna work perfectly with it and just by changing a few things I have a new design in a few minutes which really helps me get a lot more designs uploaded which is sometimes the key to being super successful in print on demand. So if you do want to make your own account with Kittle they have both a free and a paid version. I was working with the expert plan that they have today. I will have all of their information linked down below in the description if you do want to check them out. And if you want seven more different spring and summer Q2 niches besides the three that I just shared. I want you to watch this video next where I share 10 of the best spring and summer niches that you guys should definitely think about targeting to have a lot of success in your print on demand business this Q2. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.